Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. I want to make something nice and light and easy for you to make. Something that tastes great. So you know what? Let's make an easy orange cooler. Simple, easy, and you know what? You just can't go wrong. Now, this is a five-ingredient cocktail with lots of fresh fruit, so you're not going to get the dreaded scurvy. And you know what? Especially because it's winter right now where I live, it's a good idea to get your vitamin C. So, let's get into it. Now this is a simple five ingredient cocktail and it is a shaken cocktail. So grab your shaking glass and then put it off to the side because what we are going to do is we are going to take eh, three clementines because we want about three ounces or 90 grams. And what we're going to do is peel them gently and then sectionalize them. Drop them in the glass and it'll look like there's a lot, but we are going to muddle these thoroughly. Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Now what we are going to do next is grab a lime. And what we're going to do is we're gonna cut this in half and then squeeze out half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Perfect. Now, this will give us a little bit of balance. So it'll give us a little bit of tartness to go along with the orange flavor. So it's just not overpoweringly orange. However, what we are going to do just to balance everything out a little bit more is we're going to add a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half milliliters of one-to-one -one simple syrup. Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Now, what we are going to do is use a dry style gin. I'm using Dylan's Dry Gin 7. It is a local gin to me. I love using local where possible. And for this, we're going to use a total of an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Perfect. This is a perfect style gin to do. You have light juniper notes and pine notes and gentle floral notes. Remember, use whatever you want and you can adjust the flavors accordingly, maybe by adding some apple, some banana, totally up to you. Now, what we are going to do, grab your shaking tin and we're gonna put a bunch of ice in here. And we are going to shake this hard. And we'll shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand oranges, or in this case, clementines. And what we're going to do is build this in a tall highball glass because I like the way it looked. You could build this in anything. For me, this is just a presentation issue. So grab some ice and just, you know, fill your, uh, fill your glass up. Now we are going to fine strain this because we want to make sure that we get all of the pulp out because who needs nasty pulps, right? Now, unless you want it, you could, uh, what they call just free pour it, but totally up to you. And we'll just pour it in like so. Oh, that looks so good. You just can't go wrong. Now we are going to top this up with some soda water. I'm using Schweppes soda water. You could use Canada dry. You could use a soda, Machine totally up to you, whatever you want to use. And we'll just top this up for another ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Oh, look at that, fantastic. <laughs> just, you can't go wrong with something that looks and smells like this. Now, grab your spoon, and we're just gonna give this just a very gentle mix, just enough to incorporate everything, but you don't want to lose your bubbles, right? Now, having said that, what we are going to do is we are going to place a lime wedge on top like so. And there you have the fantastic uh, orange cooler. You just can't go wrong with it. Now, grab a straw. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that is so good. You get your orange, or in this case, your clementine. You get a little hint of the lime and that gin is there. It's not super strong. It's perfect. So whether you're sitting on the back deck or you're just enjoying a nice drink when you get home from work, you know what? This is fantastic. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.